back from the dead. Hey guys, Frozen X is here, and today I want to talk about a topic that probably a lot of you don't really care about, and that's, you know, it's melee overpowered. A lot of people have actually asked me this question if I think it's, you know, too easy to kill someone with melee if, you know, breaking their vehicle in half once you, you know, by hitting them once is overpowered. And I feel I can shed some light on this as a meleeer, but overall I don't think my opinion really matters, you know, I. I tend to be biased on things, so I may be biased on this because I play melee builds most of the time. Uh, I'm, I, I do still play other builds, obviously, so I have experience with everything. You, know, you can go watch my YouTube series. I'm on, like, episode 35 now, I think. I, I don't know where I'm at at this point in time. But, yeah, uh, a lot of people think that getting hit once by melee and how it breaks your vehicle in half is overpowered and it's kind of ridiculous and, you know, they kind of, if a melee gets a good shot on you at first, then, sorry if my alarm went off there, that's the second, second, like, day in a row that I've had my alarm go off on me while I was recording. I really just need to shut that shit off. It's not like I'm even in school anymore. I don't, I don't wake up to that alarm, you know? But, uh, yeah, uh, some people think that the way, you know, how meleeers kill you so quick is overpowered, and... To some extent, I, I agree with them. I have sympathy for people that feel that way, but at the same time, it's really, it's really a necessary mechanic we need in the game. If meleeers didn't really, I don't want to, I don't know how to use the term perfect or what word would work perfectly for this, but disable you or you know render you pretty much useless then as soon as they hit you, they would still have to continue to grind, you know, I'm assuming you're using powered melee weapons here, you'd still have to grind away at them till parts break off and whatnot, and then you can finally kill them. But that initial boost of damage or burst of damage, that does a lot. It's really powerful. Like, if you don't know what I'm talking about, when you get hit or when you ram someone, you deal like an initial burst of like 300 damage. If you're using two uh, power melee weapons, if I'm using three, I can hit like 500s to 600s when I hit someone, which is like a 100 millimeter cannon round or probably two of them, honestly. So it, the real question is what, like, is there really a way that this could be done any differently? And I don't think there is. Uh, the problem, like I said, is that if they continue to have to grind away at you, you could just drive away pretty easily. Uh, you can just... Tanks or anything with tracks could manu probably outmaneuver a melee vehicle because most melee builds are eight-tired monstrosities that are covered in grills and things like that. So my theory is that if you do a great amount of damage in the beginning and then the damage over time after that is reduced, then you allow the meleeer to have a slight advantage, which is kind of what they should have. If you get snuck up on, if they use a chameleon and get behind you or anything like that, then they should be rewarded for taking the time to, you know, get that advantage. And if that didn't happen, you would, again, you'd be able to outmaneuver them and it would just be annoying for any melee build. So they'd become pretty much useless. I wouldn't say useless, but if you were able to just move immediately and they had to keep contact with you for like a full 20 seconds before you broke, then there would be no advantage to meleeing over using guns. The whole point of meleeing is that that initial strike, like I said, is going to do enough damage that you'll be able to focus them down, or that they'll be stuck in one place, or that you'll still have most of the parts on your vehicle while they lose quite a few, and you'll still have a slight advantage even after that, because you need to be rewarded for sneaking up on the enemy. If they're, if, you know, if you snuck up behind an enemy and you just still have to grind away at them for 20 seconds to kill them, chances are they'll kill you with their weapons before you get anything done on them. And, as a meleeer, you already have to deal with the fact that a lot of the time when you hit someone, you bounce right off of them, which, you know, to me is quite annoying, but to you guys is probably a life-saving mechanic. You probably wouldn't survive nearly as much uh, from melee attacks as you would if you didn't have half them, or bouncing off you half the time you got hit by him. Because there is a, I want to say it's weird, not really broken, I wouldn't use that term, how you just, once you hit someone, you get pushed to the left or the right or even upwards sometimes, which is kind of, I, I don't, again, I don't want to say this in a mean term, oh god, help, uh, but it's, 
not how it would work realistically. If you rammed into someone, you would be connected to them. Now, obviously, you can't do that in real life, but I think, you know, having me get pushed out of the way whenever I uh, ram someone is a bit of an issue. I'm just going to self-destruct since my team chose not to help me there, you know. This just kind of goes to show the kind of community we're working with. I even said help while they were only like 20 feet away and no one stopped to go back and get me. Great work, guys. But, you know, again, and I, I will say it again, probably not a lot of people think ramming's overpowered, but I think a lot of the people that are saying it is are people who are just, you know, they've never played as a rammer, which I think is part of the issue. Uh, the Mostly the people that I've heard saying this were in-game people who were just, you know, angry that over and over and over again they're getting rammed while on a hill and they, like, they can't fight off a rammer because, again, cannon builds are completely susceptible to ramming, but I, I just think that's an issue of people not understanding that this is a game with counters. Every playstyle will have a counter to it. There's no way to be the best in every situation. And, you know, I think most of my subscribers know this. Uh, most of the people, I've never seen a comment on my videos saying ramming is overpowered. And I do mostly ramming builds on my channel. Uh, that's just kind of my favorite way to play the game. Like I said, this is mostly people saying this stuff in-game. They seem to think that, you know, that because, hey, once they get hit by a rammer once and they can't do anything, then, you know, that's overpowered. But what they really should be saying is, okay, maybe I should, you know, build a vehicle that doesn't exactly, you know, get flanked so easily. Maybe I should pay more attention to my surroundings, see if there's a dust trail coming out of nowhere, which is how you detect a chameleon. The dust and tracks still appear behind them, even if they are a chameleon. So, things like that. I, I don't, and, again, I don't see this very often. I just think it's people who are angry with the game at the time, you know. There's a guy who has a really good ramming build in the lobby, probably, and they're just getting upset that he's winning all the time. And, you know, I get it. You know, people get pissed off in game. I get pissed off at snipers with cannons a lot, too, because, you know, I'll be a ramming build and they'll knock off one of my tires almost immediately and screw me over. But that's just kind of how the game is going to go, you know. you got to accept that there are going to be counters to whatever vehicle you are using. There's no vehicle in the game that's going to be the best vehicle. That's kind of the great thing of Cross Out. There's no perfect vehicle, you know. And I'm sorry if this video is kind of rambling, but it's mostly just... I don't know. This wasn't really a video I had to make. This was just, you know, more of a filler video, really, anyway. Uh, I just wanted to do something or talk while I was playing the race raids. And rather than just talking about my day, I thought I'd rather just talk about a topic that was, you know, at least some people are curious about. So, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you think I left anything out or you think I should add anything to that, go ahead and leave it in the comments. Uh, I hope you did enjoy the video regardless if it was just mostly me rambling, but uh, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace out.